Lawn Dog is asking about uh, high dynamic range. Uh, what calibration standard do they use uh, for streaming? And does the TV do the, the adjustments automatically? Uh, this is a pretty interesting question. Uh, it has to do with how are they grading the content and how is your TV supposed to know that it's getting high dynamic range? Uh, the answer, of course, is metadata, uh, which is extra data coming along with the video signal that says, hey, this is supposed to be HDR, so switch to your HDR mode, Mr. TV. Uh, this is uh, one of the things that's still in development. For example, when I went over to Joe Kane's, and saw this Oblivion clip in high dynamic range and in standard dynamic range, he had to switch the TV manually from one mode to the other, whereas it should have happened automatically. There should have been a, a, some metadata coming in with the HDR saying, I'm HDR, so switch, and the TV would have done it. And I'm SDR, so switch, and TV would have done it. Uh, but it didn't yet. That hasn't been implemented yet. It's one of the things that still not settled uh, entirely. They're still working on that. So um, uh, the answer is yes, you need to, to calibrate your TV uh, for high dynamic range and wide color gamut. Most high dynamic range is using the color gamut called P3, which is the same color gamut used in uh, commercial cinema. And uh, you, so you need to be able to calibrate for that and for the bright uh, the white and black levels and so on and so forth. And then you need another preset that is calibrated for standard dynamic range, which in, which would be the 709 color space, a color gamut, smaller, uh, and standard dynamic range and peak white output of 100 nits rather than 1,000 nits, as, is, as in a lot of high dynamic range content. Uh, so yeah, th this whole issue of calibration is uh, an important one. I'm going to be having, I'm planning to have um, uh, Kevin Miller, Dwayne Davis, and David McKenzie on the show. They're undergoing some training for calibrating in high dynamic range. We also talked about this a bit on the SpectraCal show a couple weeks ago. Uh, so that's going to be uh, an interesting thing for us who actually calibrate TVs once we start getting high dynamic range TVs in, we're going to need to be able to calibrate that properly. And uh, that's going to be an interesting question as well.